Genesis chapter 37 from verse 14 to verse 17. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren, and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him out on the fair of Abraham, and he came to Shechem. Verse 15. And a certain man found him. And behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They have departed hence. For I heard them say, Let us go to Dotan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in where? God knows where what you're looking for can be found. But there are certain people that just by you knowing them, wandering and struggling, will no longer be seen around you. They are there to occasion a dramatic turnaround in every department of your life. The testimony that we covered up out from your meeting with them will supersede the testimony of your relationship with the hundred people before them. Lift up your right hand. I pray for you today, this week, your eyes shall be opened to see the certain man for you. They shall connect with your life this week. For somewhere, chapter 18, verse 1. And it came to pass, when he had made an end of picking on the soul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his own soul. So, chapter 19, 1 to verse 4. And Jonathan spent good of David unto Saul, his father, and said unto him, Let not the king sin against his servant, against David, because he had not sinned against thee, and because his works have been to the world very good. This week, sir, my God will connect you to your own Jonathan. Yeah. Where your promotion is being discussed. Where your advancement is being discussed. Where the contract you're bidding for is being discussed. There's a certain man that will speak good of you there. My God shall arrest them for you this week. Yeah. Look at verse 6. And the seven of that chapter 19. And Saul hanging up the voice of Jonathan. And Saul swear, as the Lord liveth, he shall not be slain. And Jonathan called David. And Jonathan showed him all those things. And Jonathan brought David to Saul. And he was in his presence as a time passed. It was Jonathan that was here.